June 20th, 2022. Uh, I, I just opened this set that Nick and his friend Andrew, uh, whose name I now have, uh, got for me. Um, Nick was like, oh yeah, uh, Andrew's definitely got the, the toy hunt uh, kind of mentality. <laughs> he said that uh, Andrew drove two hours uh, to get the Target exclusive um, family that busts together set from Ghostbusters Afterlife. So, uh, I, I feel a, a kinship with Andrew, uh, although I've never met him. Uh, but I have just now opened this uh, set uh, from uh, the parks. It's got the Mandalorian droids in it, right? And um, these guys that I, I did a video about the other day. I was unprepared for how posable uh, MA-13 is. I mean, number one, uh, the dome revolves. Actually, the piece under the dome can revolve if you want it to. Uh, I don't know how, how well that's visible. Uh, then you've got the shoulders for the upper arms, which rotate. You've got the elbow for the upper arms. And uh, there's wrist and bicep rotation as well. Uh, I don't, let me hold it a little closer to camera. So, elbow is rotating, and then if you lock the elbow in place, the wrist will also rotate. Uh, I don't think any of the fingers or anything uh, move, but it's there's a possibility that the hand actually um, does like this. Uh, let me tinker with it for a second, and I'll be able to tell for sure. It does look like there's a mechanism inside of it. Yes, it does. Wow, that's a lot of mobility on such a small space. Okay, then the lower arms, shoulder, elbow, wrist rotation, uh, no above the elbow rotation, uh, and then also the, the flex like that. How many, how many points of articulation is this? Um, technically, the piece that both arms are on pivots slightly, uh, although I don't think really they want it to because of the concavity of the piece and the way it attaches to the body. Hips move, knees move, foot has at least uh, one, two. I, I've lost count of how many points of articulation this figure has. I, the irony is that most of my Mandalorian figures are, um, you know, the the five point of articulation style. And here's this guy, he's gonna blow him out of the water because he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, at least 22 um, points of articulation and his leg fell off. Don't worry, it's supposed to do that. Uh, so these figures are um, part of their Droid Factory collection. So they come apart to their components and you can just make a regular R2 unit out of him. Ta-da! And we will borrow the legs from this guy for a second. This was always one of my favorite things that uh, Hasbro had done uh, when they had their Build-A-Droid figures and things. So, now, that's MA-13 with some of the parts from R63. A uh, little bit loose uh, after having this piece in there uh, from the factory. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you've, you've just got all sorts of possibilities of how you want to... Uh, assemble this guy. Um, I mean, if you'll remember in the episode, he starts off and just appears to be an R2 unit, and then he sort of extends himself a little bit uh, from where he's been concealed, and you're like, wow, that's a really cool design. It was actually one of my favorite things they had done with an R2 design uh, in live action before. And he's got his pole for steering his little lava gondola. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool, multi-posable figure. Um, I see now why this guy commands more money on eBay alone 
than any of the rest of them do because they're just, you know, astromechs. And then you've got the uh, R1 droid here. Who, he has one point of articulation. And, uh, well, I believe that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, I can see why he doesn't get quite as much money on uh, eBay uh, from the sellers that are parceling these out individually. This guy, yeah, lots and lots of parts here on him. While I've got you, big thanks to Martin for a couple of pieces he contributed to the collection. Uh, he messaged me a while back and says, hey, do you need this? And I'm like, hey, I don't think I have that one. The 50th anniversary? I thought originally that I was looking at a photo of the um, the 4-inch Clone Wars figure of General Grievous. And I'm like, I think I have that. I did not tell from the picture that uh, it was this large of a figure. Uh, it was the 50th anniversary that made me go, oh, wait, no, I don't think I have that one. So, And he threw in as, uh, as a little surprise the uh, 40th Empire Strikes Back anniversary uh, six inch version of Lando. So, uh, which I have some Black Series figures from uh, A New Hope and just a couple from Empire Strikes Back and Lando was not amongst the list of those that I had. So, um, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Lots more to come.